SU Podium is a photorealistic rendering plugin that works inside SketchUp on both Mac and PC. The Podium interface is simple and easy to use. The Render button will start the render, the Stop button stops the render, and the Save button will save the render into the directory that you choose. Renders are also automatically saved when they are completed. Multi-threading is supported by Podium, so the more threads you have, the faster your renders will complete. The preset drop-down allows you to select presets that come with Podium, as well as presets you may have downloaded or even created yourself. These XML files are what control the different rendering parameters for a scene. The default XML is designed to work for a variety of scenes – day, night, interior, exterior, etc. The quality preset sacrifices render speed for increased image quality. The noisy setting is an unbiased rendering algorithm. Basically that means that the render will be slow, but the quality is worth the wait. The noisy setting maxes out at 10,000 rendering passes. It is unlikely you will need or want to wait that long. Typically you will have a wonderful image after 150 or so passes. The number of passes can be changed in the XML, or you can search on our forum for XMLs that have been edited to include less passes. Other presets are available and further explained in the registered user section as well as throughout our forum. Light can be added to a face by simply selecting a face and moving the light slider. Applying light to a face creates what is known as a light emitting material or LEM. LEMs provide excellent soft lighting but should not be used as a primary light source because too many LEMs or LEMs that are too big will cause render times to be extremely long. There are two more lighting solutions available in Podium. The first is what is called an OmniLight. An OmniLight is the same as what other programs call a point light. Light is emitted outwards from a single point. OmniLights are created by selecting a group and adding a light value to that group. There is also a light fixture library available for download in the registered user section. The light library contains hundreds of light fixtures with preset OmniLight values. You may have to alter the light values to work with your model, but that is as simple as selecting the Omni group and increasing or decreasing the light slider value. The second lighting solution is to turn on SketchUp's shadows. Podium will render shadows just as they are seen in SketchUp. By moving the dark slider in the shadows window, you can change the intensity of the sunlight. The light slider has no effect on the way your model will render. There is also a soft shadow option that can be toggled by checking the Use Sun for Shading box. Soft shadows will give your render an added sense of realism, but will increase the render time. The Reflect slider will add reflections to any face or faces that you have selected. By checking the Blurred box under the Reflection slider, the selected faces will have blurred reflections. The last function on the main podium interface is the Preview window. By checking the preview box, you can toggle the preview window on or off. The preview window shows the real-time progress of your render. When you click inside the preview window, you can open up a snapshot of the render progress that is the same size as the render output chosen. Clicking the arrow button in the top right of the Podium panel will show the rest of Podium settings. The first setting is the list of render sizes available. Here you can select your render size. The smaller resolution sizes can be used for testing a scene to see if everything is set up correctly. Several large and widescreen fixed resolution formats are available. There is also viewport resolution and two times viewport resolution. Viewport resolution will render at the exact size as you have the SketchUp window open to. The two times viewport will render at exactly double the size that the SketchUp window is open to. Next is the render all scenes option. Render All will render any scene that is in the model. This option is great for batch rendering several different views or frames for an animation. This option allows you to render several scenes overnight or while you are out of the office. The Settings option opens up a whole new window. Inside this window, you can select the amount of quality versus speed and how smooth or jaggy the edges will appear. Moving the sliders all the way to the right will provide the best quality but increase render time. If you are just testing the scene, 
slide the sliders all the way to the left for maximum speed. Here you can also select the output type and file location. This concludes the overview of Podium.